Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the best investments to do over 2021. I'm going to be going from cheap investments to some expensive investments so you can find the perfect one for you. And as always, if you have any questions at the end of this video, make sure to leave a comment or you can join my Discord server which will be in the description. First starting off, we're going to start off with some cases. The best cases to invest in my opinion are the clutch case, the glove case and the operation breakout case. These are going to be very long term, you're going to be looking at probably a 1 year to 2 year investment and the price of them are ranging, you can buy the clutch case for 11 pence, you can buy the operation breakout case for 89 pence and you can buy the glove case for 64 pence. I don't really have an idea what they could possibly get up to but I know there's going to be a lot of profit in them. With the clutch case you've got the cheapest glove case, uh, with the glove case you've got very good skins in there and also it is out of game rotations now and then also with the operation breakout case is the only case to have butterfly knife in it. Starting off with some cheap stickers, we've got some Cologne 2014 paper stickers and also some Battle Scarred Hollow stickers. These are going to be great long term investments, especially for the Cologne 2014. Uh, these are just going to go up in rarity and the desirability for them will also carry on to go up. I know they're not the best looking stickers and they're not the most popular in the CSGO community, but in my opinion, I think they look very nice and for the price of them will just carry on to go up. And also with the Battle Scarred Hollow, they're just going to go up as well as they become more rare and they're being applied to weapon skins and everything like that. Now moving on to some cheap hollow foil capsules, we've got the Berlin 2019 and also the Katowice 2019. These are going to be great long term investments, you're going to be looking at 2-3 to three years with these ones to make maximise on profit. But these capsules are just going up in price slowly over the next couple of months. So you can do this investment for maybe 3-6 to six months or you can even do it for 3 years. Honestly, that is up to you, but if you're on a tight budget and you want to invest in some capsules or some stickers, then you're going to be looking at either that one of them two. Also, some cheap weapon skins you probably want to invest in are like the St. Mark collection, the Havoc collection, the Control collection, everything like that. So I've bought some MAC-10 Surf, Surfwood, SG-553 Barricade, the CZ-75 Indigo, Nova Army Sheen, and Dual Beretta's Heist. These are very, very cheap, ranging from around 10 pence to 30 pence. And I think the price of these are just going to go slowly up. So yeah, if you're on a very tight budget and you want to invest in some weapon skins, then these are going to be good. Uh, for the old collections, like the Shattered Web collections, you're going to be looking at probably one to two years. And then the current collections, you're going to be looking at probably two to three years. Now moving on to some more expensive investments, we've got the ESL One Cologne 2014 Challengers and Legends Capsule. These are just going to carry on going up in price slowly. I made a video on these quite a while ago and uh, yeah, a lot of people have invested in them and uh, there is a lot of attraction to them because a lot of people like to apply them to weapon skins. Because of the way they look all together with this sort of bubble effect, uh, the Canavita 2019 is the most similar sticker to this, but there is still a unique design to the Cologne 2014. And these capsules are ranging from 30 to 35 pounds, so you can get them for quite cheap and especially for like a long-term investment, then you're going to be making a lot of profit off it. Also some weapon skins you can invest in and now we're going to be getting onto the higher side of this. Uh, we've got the MAC-10 Copper Burrow, we've got the uh, Glock 18 Synth Leaf, the uh, Deagle Emerald Yomanganda, the Berries and Cherries 5.7, the Stained Glass MP9 and the Glock 18 Franklin. These are all ranging from around 15 to £50 and even the Emerald Yomanganda is around £85 currently. But if you have the budget then you can get these weapon skins and in my opinion they're going to be worth it in the future. The price for these are just going to carry on going up as the desirability for the trade up items are just going to get, carry on going up as well. And as they're traded up more to get to you know the Gungnir, the Prince, everything like that then the price of them is just going to carry on going up. Now moving on to some more expensive capsules we have got the Atlanta 2017 Legends Hollow and Foil. Now moving on to the Atlanta 2017 Legends Hollow Foil and Challenges Hollow Foil. These stickers look amazing and for the price of the stickers inside the capsules, the capsules are actually quite cheap. With ranging from around £37 to £50, if you have the budget and you don't really want to invest in the ESL1 Cologne 2014, then you can invest in the Atlanta 2017 instead. It's the exact same, you're going to be looking at two years probably for a long term investment, but like I said, these capsules are going up in price slowly, so you can do as long as you want. Now moving on to the most expensive investment in my inventory, we've got the ESL1 Katowice 2015 Legends and Challenges capsules. A friend of mine, Newerton, I've talked about him with these capsules and also uh, talked about the Katowice 2014. Uh, he's gone down the route of the Katowice 2014 sticker and uh, yeah, it sort of just ties in with the Katowice 2015 being more of a sort of medium to long term investment where the price will slowly be going up. And with the Katowice 2014 stickers, they're going to be very long term. 
and the reason for investing in the Katowice 2014 sticker would be because of the hype around it. And also, it'd probably get to the point where they may be extinct. If you're wondering how they could possibly get extinct, is that maybe accounts would be trade banned, accounts would not want to sell these anymore, or they've been applied to weapon skins. And so with Calavita 2014, with the stickers being very, very limited currently, it could be to the point where these capsules or the stickers inside will become extinct, meaning that no one wants to sell them or no one wants to trade them. Well, I hope you all enjoy the video. I'm just going to show you my spreadsheet here slowly. If you want to pause it, you can see all the investments I have in my inventory. I'll leave my Steam link in the description below so you can have a more in-depth look. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you helped you guys out. If you did, I'd appreciate if you subscribed and also liked. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.